What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's for today, bringing you guys back with a brand new Tokyo Gory episode reaction video. Today, we are going to be ranking episode number three of Tokyo Gory. Hopefully, you guys are ready. Hopefully, you guys are excited. If you guys are, you already know to do. Be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to this channel. If you guys are new to this channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. Also, bear in mind that I do, in fact, have a Patreon, which you guys can find at the top of the description down below, where you guys can view the full reaction to this video and all the other videos we actually make on this YouTube channel and on top of that you also get early access to the videos before they're actually uploaded to YouTube themselves and it is the number one best way to support this channel so if you guys do in fact want to support this channel that's the way to do so thank you guys so so much nonetheless last episode was a really really crazy episode of Tokyo Gory episode number two uh, we met Toga for the very first time inside of this season we also met Nishiki we found out that Nishiki was actually that guy in the cloak and there were some crazy fight scenes and stuff and we met Arima I believe his name is as well they're like he was like sparring with uh, Kaneki, or I guess you could say Sasaki, and a lot of cool scenes happened inside of last episode, so hopefully this episode is just as good. Hopefully you guys are excited, I'm ready, I'm pumped, I'm excited to see what actually happens next inside of Tokyo Gori. If you guys are ready, if you guys are excited, you guys are to do, well with that being said, let's go through and dive right into episode number three of Tokyo Gori. Alright, where are we at now? What the heck is going on here? Um, what the heck is going on? Um, okay. <laughs> Who's inside of this little, like, bed area? I don't know. I don't know what to expect, man. <laughs> I'm kind of confused. As you guys know, if you guys have been watching this uh, season of Tokyo Ghoul's reaction, you guys know I haven't read the manga, so I don't know what the heck's going on. And that intro definitely kind of confused me a little bit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but uh, let's let's dive right back into this episode, man. I'm excited. Let's go through and dive right into episode number three of Tokyo Gory. All right, here's my guy right here. Did he get that little thing done? He doesn't feel any different, so I think he did. He somehow, like, boosted his cognate a little bit, for whatever reason. Not sure what he's up to. Oh, he wants to avenge his father's death? I was wondering if he was, like, planning on doing something, like, revenge-wise, in terms of his father's death and stuff like that. Oh, wow. Is there, like, a huge risk or something? Can he, like, die? Oh, wow, he has no problem. He's gonna let him go through with the, the procedure. I'm guessing he already did it. I'm the only one. Bro, he's planning something, man. My man is about to do something crazy. He got dropped as, like, team captain. Uh, all this stuff going on with his, his dad and, like, the, like, the CCG, I guess, like, not helping protect him or something. Like, he's up to something, man. I'm excited to see what the heck happens. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> this guy's just picking on him. That character is always like quirky and weird and creeping around. <laughs> oh wow, we found Nutcracker? We obviously know who that character is <laughs> from last episode. How dangerous can this be? She like really powerful? Oh my god, she has so many snacks and stuff. <laughs> Jesus. Two of them. She's like so precise. She knows everything. What's the point of her being in this house if she's just gonna <laughs> snack and munch and play video games? They just kicked down the door. Oh my god. <laughs> she doesn't want to help with the mission. Come on, we need your help. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Such a slacker. <laughs> I kind of like that character. Come on, we need your help. <laughs> oh my god, man. This show sometimes can be really silly and then really serious and crazy. Did you think they wouldn't notice? The CCG is well aware that you've been collecting a salary while living a life of leisure. Oh wow. They already know. <laughs> She's like, oh crap. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. 
Hey, let's go. Is she gonna help? She's gonna help. I guess we're gonna be like trying to take down Nutcracker. <laughs> All right then. That sounds like a plan. You may get on my nerves, but I guess you're not such a bad guy. Aww. <laughs> I've had some time to think about what I've done. My man's changing. Bro, he's planning something, man. I don't know what he's planning. I don't know what he's gonna do in the future of this show, but has me interested. I like that character. He's pretty interesting. So far, at least. Bro, look at this guy's eyes. He doesn't have pupils. <laughs> Just as I suspected, threatening Psycho didn't change a thing. Oh my gosh, is she not here? She late? Sorry, I'm late, everybody. Oh wow, this character. I miss this character. <laughs> Let's go. I really miss that character. One of my favorites, actually. Oh, these guys are best friends now. <laughs> oh my gosh, she just took all the stacks. Oh, these guys are late. This guy carried her all the way from home. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, the gang's all here. It's weird that Kaneki, I guess Sasaki, is working with these guys after everything he's done. But of course, it's not actually Kaneki. Oh, wow. So we're going to be on the hunt for this person. I ask that you approach this mission with caution. The SS rated ghoul Big Mata may be involved. SS? Wow, so this person's going to be pretty strong. Oh, man. Do you think he's going to be all right? Yeah, he says his RC levels are unstable. Bro, my man's up to something, I'm telling you. That guy has a plan of his own or something. And here we are at this facility. So Talking to this priest guy. I love how they keep on going to this guy for all the answers and stuff. What does he know? <laughs> He's been locked up here for who knows how long. I wanted to ask you how you feel about your memories. Oh, shoot. One moment you think, I don't miss my memories. And the next you can't help but wonder who you truly are. Oh, wow. Imagine like two thirds of your life is just gone. Your memories is going to mess you up a little bit. Who's that? If you decide you want to unlock your memories, he holds one of the keys that will help you to- Oh, wow. Who's this guy? What the heck? Is Kaneki, or I guess you could say Sazuki, is he gonna regain his memories over time or what? For this mission, we become women. Oh my gosh, are they gonna disguise? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. The Sasuke's. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like how we're seeing this character since I've already seen her in the OVA and stuff. It's cool seeing her make an appearance here in this season. Aw, I miss this guy. <laughs> Where is he at? We haven't seen him yet. He is really weird, though. <laughs> Can't lie. Is he dead? No way they killed off him, right? Not a shot. Did they kill off Skiyama? I hope not. Oh, my God. They really <laughs> did so I guess this is the, the one way to do it. One way to go about this mission. Where's Kaneki at? <laughs> I gotta see this. Oh, that's her. What is she doing here? Trying to find someone else to do what she does? <laughs> Stop it, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, all these glares. Jesus. <laughs> how are we gonna take down the nutcracker person? How are we I'm excited to see how this goes. What would you do if there was a way to get them back? Oh, he's thinking about what he said. Does he want his memories back or not? He's thinking about it. What is what is he doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hopefully he doesn't mess things up. Oh, wow. What if it's a trap? I feel like she's not stupid. If I ever get my memories back, then suddenly I'm not Heisei Sasaki anymore. I'm still remember you. The whole memory stuff with, you know, Kaneki, or I should say Sasaki, is a pretty cool aspect of this so far. I'm liking it. You want him to infiltrate alone? That's kind of risky, no? Mutsuki's never That's been enough. on enough. I don't want your excuses. I've given you an order. Oh, shoot. Said you better, you better stay in line. <laughs> That is true. Just sending one person in is kind of risky. Very well. Very well. Hey, I knew he was going to say that. 
Ah, sucker. <laughs> I like that character. It's good to see you out of the hospital. Feeling better? I don't need your sarcasm. Oh, wow. This guy's kind of a jerk. Build strength and kill ghouls. That should be your focus. Do you understand? Build strength and kill ghouls. I wouldn't want to be a member of the CCG. That sounds kind of sad. That's just the way the world works. Aw, oh, man. Who's this up here on the roof? Oh, wow. This character. Member of Agiri, right? Thank you. Oh gosh, what are these guys planning in the background? Yo, this guy is weird and creepy. <laughs> what are these guys doing? Trading? Hey, let's go, Sazaki. <laughs> oh my gosh, he took them all down. You can't take down Kaneki or Sazaki. What makes you think you can take down Nutcracker? <laughs> they have about five days before I guess the mission actually happens, right? Oh, one more day. The next day. Tomorrow is the day. Or is it today? One of the two. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm excited. Things are about to get spicy. Things are about to get crazy. Oh, wow. I'm scared. Hopefully it goes smoothly. Please stay safe. Gosh. It's gonna be risky. Mince the operation. Here we go, man. It's about to get crazy, dude. The next few episodes, I'm guessing, is going to be basically revolved around that mission of pretty much taking down Nutcracker. And she is a pretty scary individual, as you could probably tell by her name. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> um, so I'm excited to see how that goes. Um, and I'm excited to see how, like, they actually perform. Because I, be I believe there's only, like, two members of the CCG actually going into the party. So hopefully things don't go bad. Uh, hopefully it's not like a trap. Like, imagine, like, Nutcracker is so smart at the fact, like, like, I, I don't, like, she's an SS rated ghoul, right? So I, like, I'd be, it'd be hard to imagine her actually being stupid, you know? <laughs> she has to be strong for a reason, right? And, um, I feel like she has some sort of alternate plan or alternate motive. Maybe she, like, takes members of the CCG or something, man, because I'm scared. I mean, it, it happens in every single show, man. Think we have a plan. Things are looking good, and then something bad happens. I'm waiting for that that bad thing that happens, and I'm scared. So hopefully it goes smoothly. Anyways, hopefully you guys did actually enjoy the reaction to episode number three of Tokyo Gory. If you guys did, you guys are going to do, be sure to leave a like on this video if you guys made it this far into the video, as well as subscribe to this channel. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel already, that'd be greatly appreciated. Also bear in mind that I do in fact have a Patreon, which you guys can find at the top of the description down below, where you guys can view the full reaction to this video and all the other videos I actually make on this YouTube channel. You guys also get early access to the videos before they're actually uploaded to YouTube themselves. And on top of that, you guys also get to support this channel. It is the number one best way to support this channel. So if you guys do, in fact, want to support this channel, that's the way to do so. Nonetheless, uh, let's talk about this episode from start to finish, right? I really like doing this. I really like, like talking about these episodes from start to finish and uh, like gathering my thoughts about what to and like my predictions and stuff that I have for the future of this show. So let's let's talk about it. Uh, we, started, we started this episode out with... Um, the guy that pretty much like boosted up his Kagane. I don't know what his actual name is, but he's a guy that's like a new character and that I said that I actually really like that character and like where he's going, where he's heading, and how much information and how much, you know, character devel development and, you know, what possibly he could actually do in the future for this show. I like his character so far. He's really interesting, you know, what happened to his dad and stuff is really, really sad. And he obviously wants to somehow like avenge like what happened to his dad because apparently like you know something bad happened to his dad and you know the the ccg didn't stick up for him and they could have done better in actually protecting him and unfortunately because they didn't actually protect his dad then he actually died so he kind of blames the CG ccg for that and uh of course we have you know the scenario with you know kaneki or sh should i say sazuki dropping him as you know you know the team leader uh for the little squad that they have going on so uh, he, he obviously like I think he's gonna like go rogue at some point I think I think like that's the path we're heading but I'm not too entirely sure I like to think that you know he's a good character but I mean we've seen time and time again that he's pretty much like every time you know someone would like talk to him he'd like you know be all cheery and happy and like be like a like a, a normal person but inside his head he's like I wish you would die <laughs> like actually like that in, in the last episode I believe um like he, he said don't work too hard to some guy then like inside of his head he said I wish you I wish you worked yourself to death or something <laughs> um, so like he, he seems like a pretty edgy kind of weird character and I kind of like him I kind of like him so far hopefully we get to see like more in the future of what he actually does in the future uh, he's got to like get his Kagane boosted for some reason right maybe, like maybe like he gets some fight scenes going on and he, like he's like a handful now because obviously he's a lot stronger I'm not too entirely sure but I'm very very excited to see where his, his actual character is actually heading um, 
after that happened, we got a few scenes with that one character, the, the girl, uh, who's always playing games and is always, like, pretty much a slacker. Uh, they need her to, you know, help in this mission, and she's always slacking. <laughs> she is always slacking. They, like, barge in her room all of a sudden. They, like, rip the door down. They, like, busted it completely down, and they said, hey, are you gonna help or not? <laughs> And then, like, inside of her room, she has, she's playing video games, and there's, like, chip bags all over her floor and stuff, so, uh, eventually, she, she, like, realized, like, hey, they might, like, drop me, like, they might drop my job, this and that, and I think the guy said, like, you actually, like, like, after you retire, you get, like, money, um, throughout the rest of your life, so I think she didn't want to actually get dropped, so, <laughs> she actually decided, alright, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow at 7 p.m., or 7 a.m., very, very early, and actually be ready for this meeting, and of course, we saw how that went, uh, <laughs> the guy with the shark teeth actually had to pretty much carry her all the way to the actual meeting because she was sleeping, <laughs> she was, like, sleeping on his back, it was adorable, <laughs> Uh, but we actually found out that the actual task that we're actually going to be undergoing is going to be a new mission, which is going to be pretty much going through and taking down Nut Nutcracker. And she is, a, as I said, a very scary individual. A very scary, a very scary individual. <laughs> So we pretty much had a whole meaning of of that, and we actually got to meet that one guy. I think he's a guy, right? I I, I pretty I'm pretty sure that I like messed it up completely in the last season. Um, what's what's his name? Juzao Suzuya, right? I'm pretty I'm probably absolutely butchering that person's name, but as I said in the actual reaction itself, I'm actually happy we actually get to see her or him, right? Him inside of this season because I really like his character inside of the last season of Tokyo Ghoul. It's actually one of my favorite characters. I'm pretty sure I call that character Ray, right? I'm pretty sure that. That's what, what he was actually caught in the in the past. Uh, but as the actual C a member of the CCG, his name is Juzao Suzuya. Um, but as I said, I really liked his character in like the last season of Tokyo Ghoul, and he's always been like a really, really quirky, weird, funny char character. So I'm really, really excited and happy for him to you know be actually a part of Tokyo Ghoul Re. And uh, I like that they're you know bringing back some of the OG characters. You know, we get to see Toga, of course, Nisuki, uh, Ray. We get to see of course Kaneki. I'd, I'd hope we get to see Kaneki, right? <laughs> and uh, hopefully we get to see a few more. I don't know what's gonna what happened to that one guy. Uh, uh, what's his name? Sh uh, what, what's his name? Tazukiyama. I don't know what happened to him. We actually had a scene inside of this episode that, you know, that guy with the, or the girl with the camera, um, it's like, like, I don't know, he was like thinking about that guy, and uh, like he was like faded away, and like I wish he was here and this and that, so I don't know if he actually died, as I said in the actual reaction and stuff, let me know what happened to him, or if he's still alive, or he's gonna like, don't tell me if he's gonna make an appearance, but like, let me know if he died or not, like in the, in the actual manga, of, you know, Tokyo Ghoul, um, let me know, because that's kind of weird, hopefully he didn't die, I actually really liked his character, as weird and creepy and insane he actually was, he was actually like a, like a standout character, so hopefully he didn't actually die, um, we also got a pretty cool scene inside this episode with, uh, Kaneki, or I should say Sazuki, I never know which one to say, <laughs> um, but, uh, he actually visited the priest guy, and the priest guy said, hey, if you want your memories back, I know somebody that you can actually contact to get your memories back, so, uh, we're, we're getting time and time again a little glimpses of, you know, Sazuki, like, regaining his memories or, like, you know, getting, like, in, in contact with people who could actually gain back his memories, and maybe throughout this series he actually, you know, continuously gets his memories back. And that's gonna make like a really really cool like sort of little, little aspect of this anime itself. Like well, imagine by the end of the, uh, the end of this whole entire season, he like regains all of his memories and his personality completely changes in the next season. That'd be crazy. That'd be really really crazy. So we get to see you know the the overall progression of that, all that craziness going on with you know Sazuki's memories coming back as Kaneki in the background. Um, so that's really really cool. That's really really cool. And uh, by the end of the episode, we actually went to a party and they all dressed up as girls. <laughs> they went undercover and they. They all dressed up as girls, and they're pretty much spying on the Nutcracker person. And um, the, the the guy with the green hair actually went up and uh, pretty much like came into contact with the Nutcracker person and got an invitation to the party. Uh, so we're gonna be using that to actually you know f like fulfill our little mission that we're actually doing to capture her. Um, so that we're gonna see how that goes. As I said, this is gonna go really really bad, really really good. I'm not too entirely sure, but. It's gonna get crazy. There's only like I think there's only two members. Uh, we have Giselle, Zazuya, and the and the, and the guy um, with the green hair going inside of the actual party. So we're gonna see how that goes. I'm guessing the the remainder of the people are gonna be like you know like outside help, and um they're gonna like help on on the outside, but and on the inside it's only two people. So hopefully it goes good. Hopefully it's not like an ambush or anything like that. That'd be absolutely bad. Uh, but I'm excited, man. So far this has been very very interesting, very eye opening, and it's been different. It has in fact been different. I've been confused on you know, time and time again throughout this so far, throughout these three episodes this far in Tokyo Gori. I've been, I've been a little bit confused.
confused here and there, but for the most part, I've been really, really enjoying this, man. This has been a really, really good experience. We're seeing a lot of new characters. We're seeing lots of new, like, plot development and, you know, potentially a great story to actually be formed out of all this craziness. I'm excited. Hopefully, you guys are excited. If you guys are actually doing the reaction for Tokyo Ghoul, you guys are going to do, be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel. If you guys are new to this channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. Also, bear in mind that I do, in fact, have a Patreon, as I, guess, as I actually said earlier on. You guys can find my Patreon at the top of the description down below, where you guys can view the full reaction to all my YouTube videos that I've made thus far up until this point. Thank you guys so, so much. It does actually help support the channel, as I said time and time again. It is the number one best way to support this channel, so if you guys do decide to do so, thank you, thank you, thank you. But nonetheless, man, that has been it for episode number three of Tokyo Gori. Hopefully, you guys did actually enjoy the reaction. If you guys did, you guys are going to do. But with that being said, I'll be seeing you on the next one. Peace!